Latest update, first things first. I haven't noticed anything strange or unusual or out of the ordinary since performing the man in the fields ritual. No sightings of anything that would look like a scarecrow in nearby fields. Uh, nothing similar to an ashen sort of figure out of the corners of my eyes. Uh, nothing that sounds like it's at all related to the game. Uh, ritual, practice, ceremony, whatever term you want to use for it. Or even if you wanted to call it creepypasta. Second, before getting to the general ESP, And this is more really kind of a survey sort of thing that I hope some of you will reply to in the comments. And it's very open-ended, but uh, the gist of it is, if you would please, send me ideas for what you would... what you would suggest, what you'd want to see attempted here on the channel, looked into, delved into here on the channel, um, but with budgets attached. So if you could try to think of something you would want to see here that might uh, cost $100, $300, and $500, roughly. And for the international uh, peers watching, uh, you can probably just get the adjustment for that uh, dollars to whatever denomination you use easy off of Google or most search engines. But yeah, that's the basic idea. Um, and I'll explain that in a little more detail later, but for now just send me ideas. Uh, I've been tossing around a bunch uh, already from uh, some of you that I've talked to in person uh, and some of you, well, a couple of you I've talked to in person rather. Uh, I'd like to talk to more of you in person, but uh, you know, it's secluded. But uh, even more of you that I've talked to online. And I've discussed a, a large range of things from uh, one of the ideas from someone very interested in the homunculus uh, videos was to try that with an ostrich egg at around the hundred dollar price point since those eggs can uh, range between fifty and a hundred dollars each I think. Uh, another one that was closer to five hundred was uh, or maybe above was to take a trip to a specific location in Arizona during uh, monsoon season um, to look into a sp specific uh, mythos surrounding a, a certain, uh, I don't want to say mountain, but um, a, a rocky region there, a mountainous region there. Uh, during the monsoon season uh, in relation to a, a Native American legend uh, that involved the area during that time of year. <clears throat> it doesn't matter if it's travel, it doesn't matter if it's uh, just an expensive object, it doesn't matter what it is uh, as long as it's related to the paranormal and uh, ideally within those price ranges something around $100, something around $300, something around $500 and if it's more than $500 feel free to toss that out too but I'd love to hear ones that are $500 and under. <clears throat> now, moving on from that, I'm sure some of you have already looked back here and seen this. This <laughs> menopause vaginal cream pain relief ad is the next ad. 
Uh, before we actually, just to let you have a, a view there of that in the light, before actually delving more into that, <coughs> I wanted to show you guys and gals that uh, thanks to the Carrollton Library, Carrollton, Missouri, I was able to get a bunch of magazines and this is only half, well, three, two-fifths of the stack of magazines that I managed to get. Now, without giving too much away and telling you the, the names of the magazines and such, which would just be grounds for claims of sensory leakage later or some kind of ability to uh, <clears throat> hedge your bets. So leaving out the titles of the magazines, the idea, as you, most of you already know, is that you'll be trying to guess an ad in the magazine just like this one. Now, before I read your predictions, I'm going to give you some idea of what this says. <clears throat> There's a lady with uh, medium length uh, brunette hair in a pair of tan pants with brown shoes on, and uh, she has a white undershirt with a somewhat baggy blue long sleeve shirt over that and it says I didn't realize the pain could be treated and then here is the word primarin under that it says conjugated estrogens uh, and then the only other only, only other bold text on the page is intercourse may hurt after menopause primarin vaginal cream can help at the bottom there is another image of a flower and a tube of this cream and in, in more pink letters it says this is worth talking about one other point on the page has uh, letters that are uh, not the typical black background text that says primerinvcssave.com well primerinvcsave.com so just to cover the the standout text in pink there and the two images I suppose it should also be mentioned it's a generic white, off-white background and the woman is sitting on a sort of white podium, stool, post. <clears throat> so with that having a look, a few of you did send in predictions. Uh, some of you did express uh, a little uh, confusion about switching to the magazines, so I do hope to see uh, more predictions uh, after this week. Uh, after this session, I should say, every week. Huh. Uh, so, you know, leaving out some of the comments uh, that don't relate to the predictions, uh, for no reason other than to try to make these shorter for you guys so that you don't have to sit through an hour. Uh, long video to see the update on whether or not your prediction turned out. So, Centralia Records says, I was about to post a comment saying I have not had a vision yet, but I just saw one. It is with a light blue background, spiraling colors at the bottom, and text with logos at the top. I think it's an ad for health insurance or something similar. Sorry, it took a while. I hope you haven't already recorded the update video yet. And this was uh, a week ago that he posted this. So, uh, Quickly looking at it, we can see that, uh, well, it's not for health insurance. It is health related. Um, we can see that uh, there's not a light blue background, but that does match the color of the shirt. And uh, he says there's spiraling colors at the bottom. The only thing close to that at the bottom would be the flower petals of the flower, which are arranged in a bit of a spiral. Uh, so I do think uh, what Centralia Records says, that's, that's interesting. You guys can tell me if you think that's a uh, hit or a miss. Don't let uh, anything I'm saying try to influence that. I want to hear, uh, hopefully from several of you, what you think. Because it's better to get a group analysis of something, especially something like this. 117 Chris says a lawnmower ad or the Illuminati eye thing popped into my mind. Those are my guesses for this magazine ad page. Um, I wouldn't say anything here if it's a uh, eye inside of a triangle.
sorry about that, that's the sound of an incubator. Um, so I wouldn't say anything here fits the eye inside of a triangle, um, but it also doesn't fit a lawnmower ad. Goad said predicts uh, that the ad will be for a watch. In the ad, we can s well, we can't really see the woman's wrists, uh, so we can't assume that she has a watch on. Cassiope says that it's a travel advertisement for a snow resort, pictures of snowy mountains with some text on it. Uh, I love how specific that is. That is... When there's a hit, obviously, um, it really helps for it to be specific. I do appreciate every prediction. But, of course, if somebody says, a red lawnmower being pushed by a uh, young guy, uh, that's much uh, more specific than just a lawnmower ad. And the more specific a hit, the uh, harder it is to explain it away, the better uh, the recognition for it, so to speak. Jason the Impaler says, I believe I saw a red and yellow page, the word will W-I-L-L, -L, for some reason. That's all I'm getting for now. Thank you for your vids. Extra. Thank you, Jason, for sending in the prediction, man. Thanks. All right, so Dan Ives uh, says, great video, dude. Love these ones. Excited about the scrying mirror experiment. Sounds really cool. I also look forward to stuff you're planning with the dolls. Apologies, I didn't realize you were doing the magazine test now. I want to try my hand at doing something to make a founded guess at what it might be probably through some form of astral projection maybe. So I'll try my best to reply and update this comment with a proper guess in the next few days, in which he did, and he wrote, I'm going with water splashing, maybe like a wave, but there isn't a beach. Bomb is the bomb too. Uh, also sense of prediction, he said that, uh, or she said that they did a visual hallucination this time, just with some paper over their eyes. It was hard to pick out details, but I'll predict a beach with heavy cloud cover and no people. For some reason, I'm also getting the color purple, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I think it's interesting, that comment was a month ago. Uh, Dan Ives' comment about uh, water splashing like a wave but without a beach was three weeks ago, but that's at least two people that said beach or not a beach, but uh, anybody that's getting uh, waves splashing could think of a beach. So I do think uh, I do think there's tons of room for analysis of these comments. If anybody wanted to go through these and uh, really pick apart every single comment, see which were words are repeated the most that aren't filler words like the, it, etc. Uh, it could be interesting to see what words pop the most. Uh, to see generally what sort of scenes get. Um, visualized the most to see if uh, there are patterns even if the the patterns didn't relate to ESP or, or psychic phenomena in any way it would still be interesting to see uh, what the most common images visualized are when you walk up to a person and say hey I have an image uh, hidden in this envelope try to imagine what it is and tell me what it is I still think it would be an interesting uh, sociology or psychology experiment to just do that at random and see what people predict. But anyway, back to the general ESP. I think the closest out of these would be some Chalia records, but without me saying any more than that, please let me know if you think it was a hit or a miss and why. Uh, feel free to tell me as much as you want, actually, about why or why not. Again, I hope some of you uh, leave some comments about uh, $100, $300, and $500 uh, budget ideas for videos. Uh, feel free to toss out ideas that uh, cost less and cost more, uh, but if you do think they fit in those range, uh, please let me know. I'd appreciate it. Uh, for those that uh, were wondering what the is that stuff when we were looking at the magazine and I was reading people's predictions, if that doesn't piece together for you automatically, and, and obviously it might not, no offense there. Basically, uh, the idea is to test for uh, the evidence 
for uh, extrasensory perception or the ability to uh, gather information outside of the means currently known to science, at least uh, as far as mainstream science is considered. Uh, ESP isn't isn't in your standard textbook as an established uh, phenomena, as an established occurrence. So, basically to say outside of, of typical scientific uh, definitions, you're trying to, means, you're trying to gather information. And the information you're targeting specifically is a random magazine ad. It could be any page in any number of these magazines, except for, of course, the articles themselves. Any advertisements, and as you can see, there are plenty of them, uh, any advertisement in any of these 50 to 100 magazines could be your target. The ads are chosen at random using the website random.org to choose the magazine, and then using random.org to choose a page number from the magazine itself, and then flipping to the nearest ad to that page number. If an ad is all text, it's probably going to get skipped for an ad that has some kind of visual uh, representation. Uh, there are ads that are almost completely text. I actually considered not using this one, but uh, I felt like since almost half the page is taken up with a large text and a woman in a blue shirt and such, I figured eh, that, that's actually enough that I think it's uh, an usable. So anyway, back to the point. Now, a magazine ad will be randomly chosen. It'll be placed right here. I'll do that as soon as this video is over, and that'll be your target. Uh, there are different ways, in theory, that you could get this information. <clears throat> you could look into the future, to the date when I upload the next video. You could astral project and send your astral form here to where I'm at in northwest Missouri. You could uh, read my thoughts at a distance. Uh, of course, like I said, these are all in theory. Uh, there's no end to the list of things you could do. You could eat a handful of psilocybin, psilocybin uh, mushrooms and practice uh, automatic writing with a pack of crayons after ingesting those mushrooms, an hour after ingesting them, and uh, see what you come up with. Or you could just use pure meditation, uh, sit there, see what images come to your mind. And you might not call that uh, reading my mind, you might not call it uh, clairvoyance or astral projection. You don't have to give it a name. All you have to do is try to tell me what that ad is going to be. That's it. And you leave it in a comment underneath this video. When the next update gets uploaded, I'll be reading those comments that you leave just like I did in this video. And of course you'll get to see if you were correct. So it's like a fun little game. You get to see if you're correct, you get to practice uh, to see if you can do this. And even if you have zero confidence in your ability to do it, still go ahead and try. Uh, as you can see here, no matter how far off you end up. I mean, if somebody had said, I see uh, uh, a volcano erupting, it's not like anybody's going to make fun of you or be like, oh, you dumb idiot, that was so far away, that's way off. Nobody's going to say that. Nobody's going to uh, give you shit for being incorrect. Uh, do your best, give it a shot, and uh, let's see what happens, because you never know. Nobody really has the authority on this. As you can tell, nobody was like, oh, it's, it's a vaginal cream ad, lady in a blue shirt. Nobody was really confidently saying that. And so far, even though we've had some exceptional uh, occurrences in some of the ESP trials here, uh, nobody has really nailed it down in a way that would allow them to confidently say, yes, I can absolutely do this 100% of the time. Uh, not even close to 100% of the time. So <clears throat> whatever you try, no matter what, uh, no matter how far you offer, or possibly how dead on you are, uh, it's a safe space to toss out your predictions and take that chance. Have confidence in yourself, see what can happen. And I uh, appreciate it very much to everybody that did send in predictions, uh, that's awesome. Uh, no mail this time, there was mail sent in by one of you, but it's not something I can open here as per their instructions, it's just between me and them. So. Uh, 
even though you might see the results of what we talked about later in another video, uh, right now I'm still discussing it in regards to their privacy and their, their wishes uh, and what they wrote. So, no mail this time, but again, thank you to everybody that did send in predictions. I appreciate it a ton. And of course, as always, uh, there's an address below, P.O. Box, for sending cursed haunted objects, anything you want to get rid of. If something paranormal is making your life worse and it's a physical object that you can mail to me, I will gladly be that uh, outlet for you. Get rid of it, send it to me. If it's bad luck, if it's negative energy, if it's cursed, whatever you, you are experiencing, if it's negative and it's in a phys and you believe it's part of a physical object, send it my way. I will take that off your hands, I will take care of that for you, and you'll definitely see it here on the channel, possibly in a few videos of me experimenting with it. And of course you'll have my appreciation. Uh, also, if you want to toss ideas for anything from like the Man in the Fields ritual to uh, a, a more specific layout of an ESP trial. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's related to the paranormal. If you have any ideas, and this is aside from the $100, $300, $500 thing, I know I'm kind of repeating it, but uh, as long as it's paranormal, toss that in the comments too. Suggestions, ideas for what you'd like to see here, what you'd like to see me delve into, or if you'd just like to talk about it, because if you scroll through the comments, you can see that uh, I like to uh, tick attack away and uh, have sometimes too lengthy uh, discussions in the comments section. Uh, <clears throat> but hey, uh, it's a good thing, right? Uh, so, back to that. Thanks. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hopefully, this was a lot faster than uh, the other updates. I'm trying to cut that time down. Uh, thanks again to everybody for all of that, and uh, thank you to the person that did send in the mail. I appreciate it. Uh, without putting your name here, uh, thank you also uh, to everybody that's been so supportive lately. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. And. For those of you who want to make sure that you do see the next update, if you send in a prediction, you don't want to miss it, or if you just want to hear how it goes, for other people's predictions, there will be a subscribe button, uh, yeah, I think in that corner, right there. And uh, of course, if you leave comments, uh, critiques, suggestions, I will definitely read them. You know how to do that, just below. Thanks. Uh, see you next time.